When JDS strongman HD Kumar Swami won in both the constituencies he contested from in Karnataka elections 2018, that is Chennai and Ramnagara, he gave up his long-held bastion Ramnagara for the former. Now this leaves Ramnagara open for another member from JDS to take over, and the constituency will mostly go to HD Kumar Swami's first wife Anita Kumar Swami or to his son Nikhil Kumar, whom Kumar Swami has been trying to launch into politics. But Ramnagara constituency will not be handed over to Anita Kumar Swami. She will have to contest a bipole and win to gain the seat. But this is where Kumar Swami's sleight of hand comes into play. Ramnagara is a JDS bastion, and it is said that the party will win Ramnagara without having to do anything at all. This is slated to be the reason why Kumar Swami chose Chand Patna and will also hold Ramnagara under his power through Anita Kumar Swami. But isn't this hypocrisy on Kumar Swami's part? If you've forgotten, let us remind you that HD Kumar Swami had earlier said that only two members from his family will contest in the elections to curb the perception that JDS is a family-run party. Even 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 JDS is a family-run party. नाने बेकार बिट कोटो यारड़ स्थान अंते ये नाड़ ने जनते मुंदे नाने ने वाद दाना मारी थे ने यारड़ स्थान के मात्रा अभ्यर्थी रोल नाग थे ने मूर ने अभ्यर्थी नीलस तक अंदर प्रश्न नहीं ला। So is Mr. Kumar Swami, who is the Chief Minister designate for Karnataka, going back on his promises even before coming to power? This isn't what you would expect from a man of his position, would you?